Hello there friends, it's Cassie and welcome back for another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a light up scratch off. Yes, you heard that right. So let's talk about what we're using. I have this darling little party gnome stamp set. We also have the matching die. This one's from Trinity Stamps. We're also going to be bringing in some easy lights. Um, yeah because you know I love the easy lights from Pear Blossom Press. And then we also have some scratch offs from Pear Blossom Press. I love these scratch offs. Um, I've been dying to use them and I've also been dying to use them with a light up. So we're going to do it. And then I brought in the double scoop paper from Trinity Stamps as well. Let's get started with our stamping. I've pulled out the image that I'm going to use, all the images. I'm going to ink those up with some ink on three blackout ink, stamp that down onto some Expressit cardstock. Those are both alcohol marker friendly products so that way when I use my alcohol markers over the top of that nothing will bleed everything will you know work great so let's get started with that coloring I'm gonna do my best to put the colors up on the screen sometimes when I get into coloring mode I'm not paying close attention as to where things are on the screen so uh, we'll talk about it as we go. So I've got the E11 was my light color and then we're using the E13 I'm only using two colors for his skin tone and then I'm going to bring in these two colors for his mustache and beard. We've got E37 and E29. So I'll start with our E37 and I'm just going to put a wash of that color down first. I thought it would be fun to have that nice contrast. Uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about because of the colors that I end up choosing based on the pattern papers are pinks and whites. And I thought that his beard would just really pop with all that you know white going on along with the pink so then we're going to try and do some flicking motions for his beard and as I always say at least for my coloring it looks worse before it looks better <laughs> so oftentimes when I'm in the middle of doing any sort of coloring especially stuff like this I'm like this does not look good but you just have to keep working with it oftentimes you'll surprise yourself and it'll end up being better than what you expect expected it would be so um, that is my bit of advice to you keep keep working so we're bringing back in that E37 to kind of blend some of that E29 out just a little bit and it softens the the flicking up just a tiny bit and it still gives you that illusion of some hair for his boots we've got some C6 I'm going to put that down first and then we'll bring in some C8 as our darker color and then I'm going to bring back in that C6 just to blend that out just a tiny bit so it isn't so harsh uh, or I'll throw my marker around a little bit first. <laughs> and then here's the pinks I was talking about. So my first color is RV55. Uh, yeah, I just was loving this pink so much that you, when I put it up, at least when I thought I put it up on the screen, you couldn't see the cap. So, um, but this color combination of pinks has come to be one of my favorites. The next color is RV06. And this is why it's important to not necessarily pay attention to like thinking that's a number order five five then zero six and then the next color we bring in is rv17 so if you tried to do that like it was our fifth rv55 six and 17 you might think that that's not going to go together but this is why it's also important to swatch your colors out because then you have a better idea of how those colors are going to look because you also can't necessarily go right off of what the cap is either so then i'll go back and blend those a little bit and then for a last bit, I'm going to come back in with that RV17 just to add a little bit more pop of that dark color. Um, I really, like I said, really love how this color combination came together. And it matches the paper that I ended up picking pretty well. So next we're going to come in for the um, frosting. We've got some E81. And then for the star, we've got Y06. That's also going to go on the candle. And then we've got some Y19, I believe. Yeah, 19. And then I'll come back in with that Y06 and blend just a tiny bit. Now that that's all done, we're going to bring in our matching dies. Yes, there are matching dies for the words as well. We'll tack that down with a little bit of mint tape, run that through our die cutting machine. And then here's the paper I was talking about. So I have a scrap of the frosting. I'm going to cut that down. It just worked perfectly. And then I'm going to trim everything down so that it'll fit on the front of an A2 size card and just leave a little bit of a border on the left and right hand side. So our card base again is A2, so that means it's five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, scored at four and a quarter. And then um, 
I'm going to trim everything down, like I said, so that it'll fit on the front of that, but just leave a little bit of a white border on the left and right hand side. We'll glue our frosting to the front of our pink cardstock. I just think that pattern's so pretty. Almost hated covering it up too much. Trying to make sure that that's centered. And then just kind of play out and see how things will match on there or how they'll, they'll sit. But then I'm gonna bring in the scratch-offs. Check it out, there's 50 in here. So you have scratch-offs for days, all right? And there's so many different patterns and Oh, that one is so pretty. I thought about using that one, and now that I see it up on the screen, kind of wish I had, but I really like this gray that I'm choosing too. This is going to go over the sentiment really, really well. So I'm going to trim that down, and we'll save that uh, for the pretty much the very end. We're going to glue everything down to our card panel. Just using that liquid glue. No um, foam tape on here because we're going to be adding foam tape later. And then I'm going to glue down the Make-A-Wish. That's going to go underneath. But the sticker, again, that's got to wait. So we're going to stick that off to the side. And then I'll go ahead and decorate the inside because there is going to be a good amount of foam tape on the front. I just figure I'll get the inside done. I'm going to take the scraps from the pattern paper that we used and we'll glue that down to the inside. And then I think that looks good. So now we're going to punch some holes using our pickup stick from Trinity Stamps. Poke a hole in the star on his hat, poke a hole for the candle, and then I'm actually going to poke a hole above the eye for Wish because this is an easy light that has three lights to it. We'll pull that out. You can see I love these. I use them quite frequently, and then they're easy to put together. Just take the battery. The plus lines up with the plus on the mechanism, and there you go. It's all ready to go. How easy is that? It's in the name, folks. All right, so now... To attach these down, I like to use washi tape, and all I'll do is I'll take the light, and I'm just going to line it right up over the hole, take that washi tape, and line it right up next to where the light is. So that way it won't shift or move. And I just stick my lights down. I don't worry about the mechanism itself um, or the wires. That comes last. So just tack it down. Washi tape just seems to be one of the best things that, I mean, I could use. I like it. And then I'm always checking just to make sure that everything works properly. And then I need to decide where I want my button to be. So I'm going to bring in some double-sided tape, and I'll put that on the back, peel off the release paper on that, and I'll stick that down. I usually like to put it so that my battery is accessible just in case it gets used enough that the battery you know, needs to be replaced. So it's easy to uh, get to it. And then as far as the rest of the wires, I just take my washi tape and fold everything down. It doesn't look pretty back there, folks, and it doesn't need to be because no one's going to see it. So I'll just take that washi tape and make sure everything's nice and secure. And again, checking to make sure everything's working fine. And it is. So the next thing I need to do is bring in some foam tape. And this foam tape is special because it is thick enough. It's three millimeters. You could use regular foam tape, but you would have to double it up. But I just want to make sure that I put enough of it down so that nothing collapses in on itself. And be careful as you're cutting so that you are aware of where your wires are. You don't want to cut your wires. But you can put your foam tape right over the top of those wires. And you'll see I went very heavy handed down at the bottom with the foam tape because that's where our little scratch off is going to go. So I wanted to make sure that there's plenty of um, availability for that. Peel off that release paper and then stick that down to the front of my card base. And everything still works beautifully. And here's where I'm going to bring in another stamp set. This is the... Um, Paper Crafting Magic stamp set. I'm gonna bring in the words push here, and then I'm just gonna stamp that down right over the top of where the button is, just using my blackout ink. That works great. Max is gonna come in for quality control. I think he's impressed, so he doesn't stick around too long. Uh, but yeah, uh, let that kind of dry just a second, and then you can push, push, push away, because <laughs> uh, that's what I do. I play with these things so ridiculously. <laughs> They're so fun. And then I'll peel off my scratch off sticker and put that over the top. Oh, I love how that looks. It's so fun. So it's like a double interactive. Could it get any better? <laughs> you can even see the light up through there. And then grab a penny. Well, I couldn't find one. So I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife and you can scrape that away. Um, but yeah, grab a penny. I just was 
too lazy to go keep looking and I knew my exacto knife would do, do the trick. So I'm just going to scrape away what I need and then clean off that mess and show you how well it works. The light up and the scratch off. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Might be one of my fave cards for the month, but check it out. Oh. So that does it for our card today. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.